Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for April 5th. I've decided to use the Vice Versa deck, and I've cut this deck, as I always do before I start the reading. You know, there's stuff on both sides. Um, this reading is for somebody, not everybody. It's whoever needs it the most. It's going to resonate with many, but not all. So anyway, I've cut it to the Judgment card, which is, uh, you know, a 20, which is completion, completion, a major completion here. So I feel, I mean, the judgment, this is a, a revelation, an awakening. Somebody is going through an awakening. They're receiving some sort of epiphany that may be allowing them to release some sort of karma that they have held on to that has been, you know, a big part of their life. This is like a release of karma to me at this point. I feel like we have a completion of a karmic cycle and somebody is is finally um, seeing the truth of the lesson that uh, was delivered with that karmic uh, instance, whatever it was. I feel as this is a time of, uh, of revelation. Somebody is receiving a revelation and completing a, a situation, a karmic cycle in their life. It's like seeing the truth. The truth is being revealed. We're gonna let we're gonna shuffle. So we have an awakening happening. There's been a there's been a major completion. An absolution. And now we have a new beginning, a new opportunity. These have stuff on both sides, so there's there's so one side you would consider reversed, and the other side would be. You know, the, the traditional tarot, so they're not really, you know, so you see what I mean? So there's no, you don't, you don't keep these in reverse. Ace of Cups. We have a new opportunity here for emotionally, emotional fulfillment. Big, huge, golden opportunity. Somebody is receiving a revelation that they have an opportunity for love. They have an opportunity for um, something really, really abundant. And we have the Two of Cups as well, and the Nine of Cups. And the Three of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody is is realizing, okay, judgment is a revelation. They're realizing. Somebody is realizing a, a opportunity. And they're realizing that they have a real opportunity for love. Real opportunity for love. So... There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. It's like the call has been heard. Somebody has been enlightened. Somebody has gone, gotten, gone through some sort of spiritual enlightenment. Now they're seeing the light. I feel as though, you know, destiny plays a part here. It's time. I feel like destiny has brought two people together or they're bringing somebody into your life that is meant to be. This is an opportunity for a lot of happiness. And I feel like we have somebody here that is about to take control. This is the emperor. 
somebody here that ha is making a decision to go after a big golden opportunity. We have somebody here that has a new opportunity and it's, it's like they're taking it in their own hands. It looks to me like somebody is, is has made a decision through some sort of like epiphany. Okay, they've got some sort of epiphany that this is the opportunity of a lifetime. I feel like somebody is, is, has, has been waiting for this person to arrive. They've been waiting for this person to wake up. And then all of a sudden, they just wake up. They just wake up. I feel as though somebody is moving in a new direction. They've gone through a period of transition, and they're heading to a much better place. They're seeing the light. They've been through a period of isolation, but this period of isolation has shown them the way. So I feel like we have a very wise individual here that has taken the time that they needed to uh, figure out where they're going, what they're doing, and how they're going to get there. Somebody is moving right towards a union. I mean, this is the Two of Cups, and this is moving. They're moving right towards a partnership that is, you know, you look, they're, they're, they're mirroring each other perfectly. They're all their, you know, their legs are the same, their hands match, everything. They're, they're the perfect, they're the, they are your mirror. It's the perfect match brought to you straight from heaven. Somebody is headed right towards their perfect match. Headed towards wish, wish fulfillment. I think we have somebody here that has been concentrated on some sort of emotional loss. But now there's a change in direction. It's like this. This is like, I don't know if this is a shooting star or a comet or what. But it's like. They realize that there's another opportunity and they're changing their direction. So I see a change in direction here. I feel like we have somebody here that's been contemplating and really focusing on some pain. They've been really focusing on some hurt. And really doing a lot of thinking, a lot of analyzing, a lot of um, praying perhaps. And it's like the universe has heard. The universe has heard the discontent and they've heard the, the pain. And now they're bringing about some sort of wish. It's like they're, they're, they're doing, they're stepping in. They're stepping in to, you know, fulfill a, a deep desire, okay? Somebody is taking swift action with the Knight of Swords. It's like all of a sudden it's like I'm I gotta I gotta go. I gotta go. I can't keep concentrating on this anymore. They get this they get this it's like this lightning bolt, right? It's like this this shock. It's like all of a sudden, oh my god, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go get it, I gotta go. So I feel like we have somebody here that gets this sudden like epiphany, this sudden truth, this sudden revelation that I gotta go get this. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. This is the love that I have been waiting for. So I really feel as though somebody is about to take some swift, fast action. It's like, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. And I feel like we have the other person here who has been waiting, been waiting for it to be accepted. Waiting, waiting for this love to arrive. Offering this person's been offering, saying, "Come on, this is what do you want it?" I mean, you see the two of cups. These two cups are full. They're bubbling over with love. This one is is waiting to be filled, and it's waiting for this person to, you know, add to it. So, I think we have this this one person that's like bubbling over in love, waiting for this arrival, and 
It looks like it's coming to me. I, I do think that, that it's coming. This person's been praying and offering and offering and just... This is the Ace of Cups. Waiting. So I really feel as though we have an arrival. Somebody is arriving. It's time. It's time. Something good is coming. This is a lucky break. This is a reward. Somebody, this is. At the end, you know, when the wheel spins, it's the wheel, the wheel of change. It's, it, whatever is happening, whatever is changing has happened to bring you something better. And I feel like this, this is, this is a card of purpose as well. Somebody is realizing they get this revelation that all of this happened for a reason. It goes back to the song I played the other day. I feel like we have a king. This is a king of all kings, right? It really is. It's the king of all kings. We have this king that is about to take a stand. I think that the, we have this, this, this king that is making a decision. He has a lot of wisdom. He's stable. He's secure. And he's been really contemplating his next move. Because he has to take care of everybody, just not just himself. So I feel like we have somebody here that is very, very wise and he has been in the process of making some sort of plan in regards to his future wish fulfillment. And I think that he's he he wants to do it exactly, you know, the right way. I think we have somebody here that has seen the light. They have seen the light. They've been enlightened, seriously. They're coming out of hiding and going after wish fulfillment. They see a soulmate connection. They, they recognize the soulmate connection, and they're moving forward. They're moving forward. They're moving. They are. They're, they're going through a period of transition. They're transitioning from, from discontent and not knowing what to do to take an action. So I really feel like we have somebody here that's about to take action and change their change their change the course, change the change their future. We have a new chapter. One cycle has ended. That's what the wheel of fortune is. One cycle has ended and we have a new beginning here. We do. With the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups and the wheel of fortune. We have a new beginning here that is meant to be. Somebody has been reevaluating their course, you know. And I think they've come to the conclusion because they've received some epiphany, some sort of, you know, revelation that this is it. This is my destiny. All of that happened for a reason. I got this offer of love and I need to, uh, this is what I, I, I'm ready for it. So I really feel like we have somebody here that is, you know, she's, 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 she's cold. She's getting colder. She's, you know, it's like, she looks like she's turning to stone, you know, waiting and waiting and waiting in this ace of cups. This guy has been in the wings and he hasn't come forth, but it looks like he's, he's getting closer and closer and closer. So I think we have an arrival here. I really do. I think that we have somebody that is arriving in the nick of time. Somebody's made a decision. The decision has been made. So I really feel as though we have somebody that is about to take the lead. take back control of a situation or just take control of a situation.
Let's get some. Let's get some angel romance cards. Somebody is moving to a better place. They are. They're moving right towards a soulmate. This is a perfect match. And I think they get this revelation that this is what I want. This is what I need to do. And they're going to take action. I think that there's going to be some sort of action that is taken. Look, if they just fell out, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And this is what's going on here. Somebody is getting the revelation that I know who it is. And I'm, that's, I'm going for that. I have to tell you. And a lot of you aren't going to like this. It's the masculine. <laughs> it is the masculine. The masculine is in charge. It's his call. He's making the judgment call. So I feel as though we have somebody that is getting this epiphany that this is the, the opportunity of a lifetime. This is the love that I have been seeking. It's like all of a sudden they get this epiphany. They see the light that it's time to move in this direction. This person, maybe they realize this person needs their protection. I want to protect. I want to protect this love before, you know, something bad happens. This is a protector. So I feel like this person may feel, you know, that they need to go protect. And they probably do. So I feel like somebody is, is basically receiving a revelation. It's like a, that I have to, I, I'm going, I got to go, I got to go, I got to go, I got to go get this. Now this is answering the call. Somebody they may, they, somebody may, may be making a call and the judgment was call. And that's, that's the little horn. It reminds me, you know, if you think about a long time ago or, or those little skits that you ever saw, you know, when they talk into a horn, it's like answering the call. Somebody may receive a call from somebody that has been in hermit mode. They've been in hiding. All of a sudden they pick up the phone and they call. They make a decision that, you know, this is the opportunity that they want. Anyway, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you think, and I think that's the revelation that they get. This could be the one. Oh, my God, this could be the one. I, they get this boom revelation. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Hmm. I don't know how that fits in. Maybe that's what they've been doing. Maybe they've been asking. Maybe they've been asking for support from above or from their friends. And, you know, they receive this information that says, hey, you should go, whatever. Maybe somebody says something or helps them or something. This could even be that your friends help you. Your friends could be your own spirit guides, okay? I really feel like they have been asking. They've been analyzing. They've been asking. And it's like they get this revelation. So I feel like there's somebody here is waking up. <laughs> Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Absolutely. And I feel like that's definitely part of it as well. I think that somebody gets it, they, they, they realize that this is this is too good to be true. It's, it is absolutely real. And I need to go for this. I need to I need to explore this option. This is a big, huge opportunity that could lead to a true love connection that could really last. Something that you can keep. It really is your perfect match. I think somebody gets that revelation, honestly, that, you know what, I need to stop crying, I need to stop focusing on the, the pain, and I need to stop overanalyzing, and I need to take action. So I think that somebody is going to take action, express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I feel like somebody is going to express their true feelings about a love connection. They're going to come out of hiding. This guy's been behind the scenes. He's He's coming forward. He's coming forward. So I feel like we have somebody here that is starting to move forward towards the one. I think they feel the connection. 
they realize the connection they've been in hiding and they're about to you know take some sort of action so I hope this reading is for you good luck